Among the joys of sciencing is recognizing. It's like that mood boost you get when you're watching Jeopardy and you see the clue and you go, ah, I know, what is Cialis? You can easily recognize the evolutionary advantage of an ape who can easily recognize a red ripe fruit amid a big pile of green smelly ones. We did not descend from the ape who said, Hmm, I think I'll eat this mushy brown one with the green bugs crawling out of it. We have whole areas of our brains devoted just to recognition. One visual processing area, the ventral stream, recognizes what things are. Ain't it great when you get that first glimpse of the Willis Tower when you're flying home to Chicago? Another brain area, the dorsal stream, recognizes where things are, their positions and directions. The dorsal stream is why you can look at an overthrown forward pass and even before it reaches the receiver, you know, nah, he ain't gonna get that one. It's a hoot to see the veins of a leaf and recognize in it a lightning bolt, a riverbed, and the veins in a human arm. It cracks me up that with my every breath, I almost certainly inhale a few molecules that spent at least a little bit of time in Alexander the Great's bladder. Sciencing my world also, on my good days, helps me recognize and have more sympathy for us poor old humans and our vulnerable little brains. Behavioral economists have shown that expensive fake drugs are more clinically effective than cheap fake drugs. Psychological scientists have shown that you can spray a hormone up somebody's nose and they will give you money. Scores of other studies point to the same conclusion. We're all just knuckleheads out here doing the best we can. But the biologist Lewis Thomas puts it more eloquently. The way evolution clocks time, we arrived on the scene only moments ago, just crawled from the trees, puzzling over our opposable thumbs and trying to understand what on earth we are to do with the flabbergasting gifts of metaphor and language. Says me to Dr. Thomas, you want to know what to do with language and metaphor and opposable thumbs? Clearly we all recognize the answer. Just science it.